Well guys, we've been teasing this for a long time, but the time has finally come and we are making some massive changes. We are selling everything and <laughs> gonna live a life on the road. Over the, last couple, over the last couple of years, we've made a concerted effort to sort of shift some of our priorities and focus on things, doing the things that we want to do. And now that our daughter has moved away to college, it's time to put some of these plans into action. In fact, we've already started that. I sold my Corvette, sold my Q50, traded my wife's Explorer in for this Nissan Titan, and we bought a camper. We've been planning this for months and months, and we looked at a number of options over that period of time, but we found one that really fits the bill, and we're pumped about it. On top of that, I actually quit my job. I am starting my last week on the job right now. So after this, uh, things are really going to change for us, and we're really, really excited about it, and we're excited to bring you guys along for the ride. So uh, we actually took the camper out for its maiden voyage this past weekend, and we're going to have a full video on that experience, a full vlog uh, on that experience, which was a good one, I'll tell you that. So make sure you follow along if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, but for now, just want to do a quick walkthrough of this travel trailer, and I, I think you're going to dig it. Hey guys, so we brought our daughter down to college yesterday, and we decided what better thing to do than to just go crazy and buy a camper. So this is it. We're just going to do a quick walkthrough, nothing major. We, we're still planning what we're going to do with it and where we're going to put things and all that. Um, so we just want to do a, just a quick little, quick little show you. Um, this is the back end for the bed. So our bed will fold down. It's a Murphy bed, but we can track where we go. Um, our closets has a light bar. Right now I just have my, my bag in there. <laughs> we put this on here just because it has like, um, I don't know, like vinyl. gross feeling, yeah, vinyl fabric on there and we don't like that feel. Nope. This is a cool feature. So we got the bar stools and then we can light it up at night and have some mood lighting. Great. And we have Wi-Fi TV, so we can go anywhere, flip on the TV, and it'll work. So we were at a storage um, lot the other day, and we flipped on the TV, and we sat and had Jimmy John's and watched some TV in the storage lot. Here, dining area. Um, we're going to get a new chandelier for sure for this. So that I can tell you. So the kitchen is one of my favorite things. I love the blacks, the whites, the woods, black and white. <laughs> but this is one of my faves. What? Cool that picture. is cool. Um, you have UCB here and an uh, outlet so you charge your phone while you're cooking. This is a oven slash microwave so we'll have to test out some stuff and see what we can make. I don't even know. But we have a really good size refrigerator that gets super cold really fast. So we love that. Um, good size freezer. So you can tell we have a five pound bag of ice in there and we still got tons of room. So love the, the black thing with the spout that I don't know how to use. Okay, there we go. I haven't used it yet. So first time out. Um, here, deep sink. Love the color. So that's huge. And then Next to the kitchen here, we have the bunk beds. So this is where our boys sleep. And then when our daughter comes home from college or when she just wants to come home and see mom and dad, this is her bunk. Um, we don't know what we're gonna do here, but we're definitely gonna do some curtains and some wallpaper stuff, I don't know. But this thing comes off and it folds up here and then get the camera in there. And there's a back door. We do have a lot of storage in here that's really cool, but um, pantry, not, you don't want to see in there. <laughs> pantry. We don't have anything yet. But another wonderful thing that really sold me on this camper is the road back. So you just sweep it, sweep it, turn it on, and boom! <laughs> Bathroom. Not huge, but we don't need anything big. You aren't spending a whole lot of time in here, think, hopefully, anyways. Um, you can come in. Good size shower. I think what we're gonna do for sure is trade out the 
this plastic junk right there. Mm -hmm. But more storage and things too. There's there's ways to use the space. I think we have to change out the shower head too. That's terrible. Yeah, that's gonna break the first time we use it. A little solar control panel as well. So let me tell you about what we don't like really quick. One thing that's a pet peeve, really bad. That, I mean, I don't even know who designed this, but this is the bathroom. So we have like three inches of space on the top, three inches of space on the bottom. What kind of privacy is that? <laughs> what else don't you like? Um, I don't know, but I'll tell you what I do like again is we found when we were down in Brainer Childhood College, we went shopping for her, but found this beautiful trash can. And she said, no, you don't need that one. And I said, yes. And look at that perfect fit. Fits like a glove. It does fit like a glove right next to the slide out. Thermostat. AC actually works really good and it's quite quiet. Yeah. But it was like, what, was it 85 when we first got in here? 85, yeah. And ran it for like 20 minutes or half an hour and it was 70 in no time. Okay, that's good. Feature our little, our little slide out. Kind of looked at it, but good size. Three windows. Um, I'm not sure what else more you could say. Um, oh, we got storage under the... More storage under here. And the big dog. Uh, Inver panel for the inverter. I don't even really know what that does. Oh, there's you hear the that? AC? Can't even hear it, can you? No. You really, you really can't. It's not bad. And it's very quiet on the outside. Control panel for everything else. The slide, the awning, porch light. Turn yeah. the heat on for your various tanks so they don't freeze in cold weather conditions. It's a very well equipped little rig. There we go. It's starting to get dark. Get a little sense of the, the mood lighting in here now. Lots of storage, love the lighting, different kind of lightings, love it. Um, love the sink, the TV. The TV's actually bigger than it looks. It's it's pretty big. Um, <laughs> but I love the bunks, the bunks you can't go wrong with. Um, and we chose the 20.3 compared to like the 19 series just because of the bump out. Yes. When you got the animals just need the little extra turnaround space. So I think 20.3, this is like the ideal. Yeah. Plus, we didn't even talk about the outside stuff. No, that's next time. We'll no, just real quickly for the outside, um, starting from the front to the back, we have dual 20 pound uh, propane tanks. There's two batteries there. I don't know the specifications on the batteries just off the top of my head. Sorry, I don't. As you saw from the inside, we have a really nice slide out that gives us a lot of extra room uh, with sort of a, a breakfast nook all the ac just kicked on really good size awning as well with a nice led strip so it kind of gives some nice lighting uh, in the evenings um, obviously water and electrical hookups uh what else do we have we have the kind of the off-road style you know knobby tires on the trailer which kind of gives it a little bit more versatility compared to the other ones what really sets it apart from the rest is that uh, the no boundaries beast mode suspension uh, it really helps the trailer pull nicely, but can get you in some of those uh, tighter, more off-roading, kind of boondocking type scenarios. So, so that'll be a, a really nice uh, benefit for us because that's some of the, the uh, plans that we have going forward with this. We're going to really do some exploration. And we have a single 190-watt solar panel up on the roof, so that's nice as well. And there's also a rack system, so you can do kayaks or like a, you know, a roof rack of any kind if you want some additional storage for the top of the trailer but because of that beast mode suspension it sits up a little bit higher so uh, I, I think we want to try to keep as low a profile as possible considering just how high this trailer actually is there's also an outdoor grill or griddle set up as well with a hose so there's a lot going on with this trailer it's going to be great for us if you have any tips tricks or ideas on um, space saving or dinner ideas just anything for the camper lifestyle we're new to this so we could use all the tips and tricks that we could possibly get so comment in the section um or if you know of any really awesome places to go um harris house campgrounds um just just anywhere just let us know let us know we want to check it all out yes we need your help as we put things together and decide what we're gonna do we will just do little videos updating you 
showing you what we're doing so you can come along in the process and um, this is a whole new journey for us so it's quite exciting so we will keep you posted say see ya boys time for dinner